TTC Sports from the CompCare Physical Therapy Sports Wall. What's going on, friends? I'm Julia Mitchell. Got a great slate for you on the sports wall tonight. 17th ranked Mayo squares off with Owatonna, plus top 10 girls hoops matchup in the jungle. Storeville takes on Lord. But first, we get started at Graham Arena. It was a night to remember for the Rochester Mustangs Pee Wee hockey team. Now, the players had no idea what was coming. They got a police escort to Graham Arena. Waiting to greet them was a crowd of fans in the locker room, decked out with a nameplate and special jersey for the game. It was there the team found out this wasn't a regular game against Wasika. They were part of the Wild Youth Hockey Spotlight game. This marks the sixth season of the Wild, bringing the XL Energy Center to youth teams across the state. Nordy the mascot, Wild's PA announcer, national anthem singer, former players Wes Walls and Stefan Velou were all there. Get a moment for these kids that will last a lifetime. Absolute surreal moment, just getting to, just going to try to embrace all of it. It was so amazing walking in through those doors, everyone there, coming into the locker room, seeing all of this. Oh, so fun. To walk in the locker room and, and see their name plates with their names on them and, uh, um, you know, the, the, just all the bells and whistles that go along with this night. I mean, it's, it's, it's you know, win, win or lose doesn't really matter. It's, it's just a, it's, it's a night these kids will never forget. It's an incredible event. Let's catch some game highlights here. Mustangs take it on Wasika. We'll pick it up first period. Mustangs skates into this wrister. Out front's Bennett Tim Payne for the redirect. That's in five hole. What a score and what a selly. Taking in the environment like a pro. Rochester up one nothing. They didn't stop there. Off the face off, Joseph Getchell rips a rocket top shelf where mama hides the thin mints. Mustangs up two zip. Rochester goes on to win nine nothing, but everyone on that ice won. To the hardwood we go for the top 10 girls hoops matchup. Storeville ranked seventh in 3A, hosting 2A's eighth ranked Lord. Two very good teams. How would this one shake out? Alethea Ball banging down low, get a tough shot to fall. Storeville up four early. But the Eagles get a good response. Emily Bauron from long distance. He's got a good phone plan. Makes that from deep. It's a one point game. A little later, Eagles down three here. Caroline Daly. Can't leave her wide open. Tickles the twine and knock this game up. On the other end, though, Audrey Schindler. Nice fake. Baseline J. Money. Nice shot there. Stewie back up two. The seesaw was going here. Vivica Breton kick out to Bauer on That triple is cash. Eagles take a one-point lead. Tigers, your response. How about Haley Strum from distance to tie this game up again in this tight one? It's Stewartville who comes away with the win at 64 to 52. Let's go to the boys' side now. Owatonna in town to face 17th ranked Mayo. Had a good game here. Owatonna in transition. Blake Burmeister from long range. Bottoms. That ties this game up here early. And Burmeister sets his feet on this one because he's shooting this from the gym in Owatonna. That's money. Huskies take a three point lead. But here's Mayo. Sawyer Mark Markham. Cookies. We out. Easy layup. In transition goes down. Spartans retake the lead by one. These teams trading blows. How about Colin Vick? Straight to the cup. Tough two goes down. On the other end here, Kyrie Gadsden. His bag, patent leather. Look at this. Smooth jumper goes down. Mayo takes a two-point lead. A little later, Spartans kick it out to Isaiah Hansen in the corner. His three is true. Mayo going up by four, but it's Owatonna who takes over in the second half to win. 73-54. Mayo. Undefeated, no more.